So hi everyone, this is Jonathan, and uh, this is the first in our series of Look What I Found Yesterday. Um, I'm really looking forward to this series because uh, we're always finding cool things in our network of, uh, of uh, SXM nodes around the world. We've got these nodes in a whole bunch of different locations, and they're always finding something because they're on continuously, continuously monitoring their environment, and cool stuff pops up. So I want to occasionally uh, share with you some of the stuff that we find uh, that I'm allowed to share with you. Um, and uh, this is our first one. So what did I find yesterday? I found cross-border interference. Now, what is cross-border interference? It is when an operator on one side of the border, it could be a national border, it could be a regulatory border, it could be, you know, any number of borders, usually national. It's where an operator on one side of the border transmits and there is leakage of their transmission across into the other area, other border, um, which is usually not allowed because you're allowed to transmit on your side, you're not allowed to transmit on the other side. Um, so this is a fairly common phenomena uh, between the Canada or along the Canada-US border, uh, a lot of population along that border. Um, and that's in fact where we found the, uh, the interference. It, um, I can't tell you exactly where it was, but it was a transmission by dish, and we identified it at one of our monitoring stations, roughly about five kilometers from the border. So this transmission from dish uh, spilled across the border. It was a fairly strong transmission because five kilometers away from the border in an urban area, we still saw it. So pretty cool. Now, how would a operator or a regulator or what have you use this? Well, um, they would they would use this to inform DISH, hey, you're you're over transmitting. Uh, the operator who is being interfered with, they're in particular uh, concerned about it because potentially their signals are being swamped out by by DISH's signals from the other side of the border. Um, the way the SXM system does this is it's continuously scanning its its environment, finds all the transmissions in the area and then characterizes them. So the dish signal is one of the signals that we found. Um, it happens to be a 5G signal. Uh, when the SXM system identifies a signal, it decodes it, drills into the, uh, into the uh, 5G protocol. And from that identifies that it was from dish and it was from a particular E node B. Uh, it's got it from a particular cell within that E node B and a whole bunch of other uh, information about that particular transmission. So we could potentially provide that information to the regulator, to another operator, to DISH uh, to say, hey, this is what's going on. So I thought that was kind of cool. Um, and um, hopefully you thought it was cool as well. Uh, like I said, we're always finding these interesting, interesting things happening at various locations around the world. So hopefully this will be a regular series and I'll continue to share things uh, with you as they uh, as they pop up. So tune back in, uh, same bat time, same bat channel uh, right here and um, see you next time.